hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today is monday january 24th it is about 10 in the morning well exactly 10 in the morning and it's not technically my last first day my last first day was this past friday but I was supposed to wake up at like 6 in the morning to go to the gym because the gym's been so crowded. Did that happen this morning? No. So <laughs> I just ran through my normal morning routine of yoga and meditating and now we do work for about like I try and shoot for two to three hours of work in the morning for my corporate job before I head out to classes. This way it just makes the afternoon if I do go to the gym a little bit easier. My last first day of college. I'll take you guys with me. We can roll through the day, this snowy day together. I am already tired and it is only 10 in the morning, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I have three classes today. They are all fortunately in the same building, which is wonderful, but that building is also about a mile away from here. So my classes start at 11.15. It is 10.45, which you cannot see, 10.46. So I have to get ready and head out and walk in the cold city life. That was honestly just a lot. <laughs> so um So the other day I was going through my syllabus for my one course that I signed up for for this semester and I realized that it said non-academic credit and I'm like this didn't like say it anywhere when I was registering. What does non-academic credit mean? So I emailed my advisor asking him and I noticed he responded to me at the end of my Spanish class. So I check it only for him to say, I'm so sorry, I made a mistake. This course does in fact not count towards your graduation requirements. There was literally nowhere that I came across that said this course wouldn't count towards my requirements. So I had no idea until I decided to email him after I saw it in the syllabus. <sighs> anyway, so. Okay, so it's been like an hour since I last talked to you guys. I wanted to just like share that the start of this semester has been really discombobulating for me because I went from a really calm, winter break where i really just kind of like allowed myself to rest and relax which is something i don't normally do i think getting back into a schedule has been a bit of an uncomfortable change but i know 
within a couple of weeks it'll be okay. The other thing is I'm taking courses that I don't like. So it's making going to classes much harder because they're not super fun. Like I'm not great at Spanish and I'm not great at math. And I'm not like extremely interested in either of those subjects. They're just requirements I need to take to graduate. Whereas last semester I was taking all psychology courses, which I loved. So getting up and going to class was super exciting and something I always relatively looked forward to. It's just been <laughs> a little rough. I just wanted to share that because not everything is super seamless and there's nothing we can do about it sometimes except just roll with it and try and let all things come and go as effort effortlessly. Eff you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna go make some toast and keep working. So, I was gonna go to the gym, but honestly, my body is so sore from lifting yesterday and Saturday that um, it's probably best that I give myself a little break to recover. But also, after this bit of a chaotic day, I don't really feel like going to a super crowded gym and like trying to fight my way to get weights and stuff. Walking down the street And all it took was a smile For you to capture me You got me turning around So I can ask your name 